Alright, just taking a quick peek at the hives next to my house after we've had a little bit of snow and uh, they're all looking pretty good. Um, this one over here, you can see, yesterday was warm and they got it for cleansing flights, but it looks like a mess, but it's not, uh, it's, it's poop outside the hive, not inside the hive, so that's good. Um, these shelters that I put over the, the bottom entrances, beautiful, working perfectly. A little bit of snow in there, but again, they're not getting clogged up with snow and it's providing some adequate ventilation. I still think uh, corrugated plastic from old uh, uh, political signs would work just as well instead of going through um, <clears throat> my old foundation that I've got banging around. So I think I'll add those uh, those uh, shelters to the rest of these hives. I've only got it on this one and this one up here. Oh, no, I'm trying not to slip. There we go. And again, see? That's, that's, that's simple. So simple and such a, you know, simple and elegant and does the job. All I need to do really is just put a bit of duct tape Duct tape them on and you're good to go. Also, this colony um, doesn't have, uh, all it has is a ventilation room up top and this bit of a uh, bubble wrap. And I opened up the little hole here and these bees are starting to cluster up top now. So that's the first time I've seen them clustering up top this winter. So it might mean that they're, they're running low on uh, food, but it all, might also just be from yesterday. It was a really warm yesterday and they probably just broke cluster. But they're, they've are they been down below like this hive all winter. And these are my two strongest colonies right now. Uh, and if you go, see there? Nothing down there. So they're still having, they're still, they're still clustering down below. Um, the only thing I think I might do for these hives I'm not, I don't think I'm going to wrap them, but I might put a hive pillow on in, inside each of them just to give them that little bit of uh, extra warmth and and, uh, and it'll hold a little bit more heat in uh, than what I've got set up right now. I think if they could break cluster a little bit, maybe the uh, once they got a, some some pollen coming in, they'd be, the queen might be able to expand the brood nest quicker, so I might give that a go. And maybe I'll wrap one of these two with a silver wrap, see if it makes any difference. Um, I'm having mixed results with uh, uh, wrapping. Some, sometimes wrapping doesn't make any difference at all. It's just, just another pain in the neck thing to do. And sometimes it... Uh, well, I'm going to find out if it, if it makes a difference. I know a lot of people uh, have told me, yeah, you should wrap your highs. And I've always said, okay, and I did it. And then I didn't do it for years, and it didn't make any difference. But now, in this particularly bad climate that I'm in right now here in Flat Rock, um, I think maybe they could use a little wrap. So that's why I've got my weaker colonies, which is most of them really, uh, I've got them all wrapped up. And uh, so we'll see what happens. If I wrap these, this is the thing, if I wrap them, and then if I feed them pollen uh, once they break the top bars, right now they're, not, they're still down below, so I, no point in feeding them. But uh, if I give them pollen, it could it could stimulate the queen to lay more eggs and get going. But if I do that here, it's fine. Not a big deal next to my house. I'll just have to stay on top of them and really stay on top of them because they it doesn't take much for them to swarm once the conditions are right. So you just I got to really stay on top of them. But I might do that anyway because um, I've noticed that my colonies here in Flat Rock just don't explode as well as they should in the spring, and they just they just don't do as well uh, as the colonies I have in some other locations. So maybe I should treat them like I used to treat my colonies when I first got them. When I first got into beekeeping, I just went to, create, went to town on feeding them all the time as much as possible, giving them pollen supplement, you know, uh, artificially stimulating the queen to lay more eggs in the spring so that I was getting swarmed in, in May, that type of thing. Um, I, maybe I should do that with, the, with these ones because they're just, it's just such a, you know, harsh climate for them to survive in and because it's close to my house I should be able to keep an eye on them I hope without risk of them swarming but I wouldn't do that I wouldn't want to have like all if all of them were like that I would never want to do that I just do not want to stay on top of swarmy colonies uh, that uh, one or two fine but if I had to do all of them it would just be no way I wouldn't, wouldn't can't can't do it so maybe I'll do it with one of them and see what happens because it was always nice it's really nice to have 
um, you know, excess resources like extra brood and honey or whatever else, but mainly extra brood. If I if I got a colony that's just spitting out brood, it just, it just helps the weaker ones so much. It's just uh, it's the best thing you can do. So maybe I will just go to town on it and just feed them like crazy and see if I can get them to explode in the spring. Of all of the two that are strongest in this in this bee yard right now, it's this one, and that one. But this one I know has an old queen and she was slowing down um, last fall, so or last summer really. And this is the strongest one, and it's a new queen too. She's brand new. You can see right there, 2101, my first queen. And this is the queen that actually mated uh, in this location with probably um, drones from the one other bee beekeeper that I know, who's about two kilometers away. So that, that that's probably doable. They probably made it. I got a nice big, fat blonde queen in there who's just laying like gangbusters. So I think. If I really stimulate them to produce, I'll, I might be able to get something good out of it. So maybe I will do that. I, I think I've just talked myself into doing it, doing this. I'm going to, when some, all the snow melts a bit, I'm, I'll, I'll give them a wrap and prepare them for uh, uh, some pollen patties. But I'm, there's no point in giving them right now because you can see from the last shot, there's, there's just no, they're just still clustered down below. But maybe if I warm them up, they'll break cluster and they'll come up and we'll see what happens. Yeah, okay, so I just talked myself into doing something else. Awesome. See you later.